I'm going to show you the camera. Now you can go to the camera through the jump menu like this, or you can be somewhere else in the phone and just hold down the shutter button for a second or two. Press the shutter button halfway to get focus. Press it all the way to take the photo. It'll automatically save after a second, but you do have the opportunity to press the cancel button to delete it. You can see the trackball controller moves you through the buttons that go around the periphery of the viewfinder display. Change autofocus mode to macro mode, scenery mode, or back to regular AF. Change the display information, and here's the full settings. You can see it's a 3.2 megapixel camera. You can also shoot at lower resolutions. Quality settings white balance and some special effects also geotagging because there is a GPS built into the Sidekick LX 2009 and you can also record video so the image viewer is just a couple of quick pictures I just snapped sitting right here use the trackball to navigate you can see down in the corner here it shows you where you are in relation to the beginning and ends of the photos you can see now we're at the first photo, now we're at the last photo. We're in the media player application right now and you can see we've got about two and a half thousand songs loaded up now. You can't fit that in the included one gig micro SD card but we've put a 16 gigabyte card in there just to see how it handle it. And it took a couple minutes to index all the songs and some of the functions have gotten to be quite slow because of it such as this search. You know, We're going to type B and you're going to see it's going to take a second before we can start narrowing down the list to find items. L-O-C for Block Party. And here are all the Block Party songs. Now you can see while we're in the media player, the cancel key becomes a play pause button. Music's organized by artist, album, genre, composer, all sorts of things like that. And when you're elsewhere in the system, you can always hold down these two buttons here to bring up the mini player, which point you can easily you know, play, pause, switch tracks, change shuffle modes, whatever. Overall, the media player works quite well, and it also supports Bluetooth stereo, so you can use uh, wireless set phones if you like. If you choose not to use the 3.5 millimeter jack for regular wired headphones, the Sidekick LX2009 comes equipped with Microsoft's Live Search, which is a location-based searching system and mapping system. Uh, the device has a GPS, and it'll use that to get your location and give you search results based on where you are and you know current maps and that kind of things. Unfortunately for us, we never got the GPS signal. Um, we've used this application a number of times and given it quite a bit of time to um, get a lock on, and we've just never received one. So we haven't really been able to test this. It's been quite a, a failure for us so far. As we've seen on past Sidekick devices, there's a download catalog built into the Sidekick LX. You can choose from applications, games, backgrounds, ringtones, themes, all sorts of stuff like that. You can also manage the applications you've already downloaded. You can see we've downloaded a couple, including the Twitter client, Facebook, and Resident Evil. You can manage your applications, uninstall them if you wish, or remove them entirely from the device. Go down here and show you some of the applications that are available and the costs. There's a few that are free, but most of them have some sort of cost. But there's a fairly decent assortment, and one of the big ones that's coming up is uh, T-Mobile has promised a Microsoft Exchange client, so for push email, which will be really nice. It's not out yet, though. Um, we're looking forward to testing it, though. So that's our look at the Sidekick LX2009 from T-Mobile. Really nice feature set. First 3G Sidekick. All sorts of good media functions. 3.5 millimeter audio port. Autofocus camera video playback capabilities, 
good music capabilities and support for micro SDHC cards such as the 16 gig card we tested the device with. A lot of good functionality, uh, Twitter, all sorts of social applications, uh, instant messaging, email, you name it, this device has it. It also does it everything on a nice 854 by um, 480 display. So it's got a lot going for it. A little big, a little heavy at you know 160 grams, 5.7 ounces, but probably worth it for the Sidekick fans out there, and I know there are a lot of them. So again, Sidekick LX 2009. I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com.